You know how many times I've been on an 890? And there have been boxes over there, bodies over there and over there, dead people strewn across this motherfucker, blood spattered against the wall, the death chef. and destruction. Just... Are you... Yeah, you have... Yup. Now I'm walking around dressed like this, not pieing the corner, as if I'm about to shoot somebody in their armored face through their cracked uh, flight helmets, ready to strip naked a bunch of dead pirates and dead worthless North Rock motherfuckers because if they were worth a fuck, they would not die so goddamn quickly. That's right. We're reviewing an 890 jump today, so sit the fuck down and I'm going to tell you, through my point of view, how this ship feels and looks. Now, this is one of the side airlocks. Morphologists would tell you to come this way because this is, you know, the docking port and this is where you would bring in your VIPs. Sometimes your VIPs come in through the hangar because you brought them in on the X-85 that they give you if you pledge this ship. We don't give a fuck about that 85 little ass thing because it's literally just a thanks for buying this 890. Uh, here's a, a snubby little fucking thing to go with it. But it does beat out the Merlin and the Archimedes because it comes with a quantum and it can fit a second person. So your boss can sit there and feel good that, you know, he's riding around in your luxury. Now, while morphologists would tell you to come through this door because you're coming in through a docking port, I'm bringing you this way because this is how I've breached this ship many fucking times. There is the elevator that would go to the ground, but we're out in space. We're not going to fucking go that way because I'm not wearing anything pressurized. If you come this way, you will notice the nice, clean place. Now, this is the VIP area where people who matter get to hang out. This here, instead of having dead bodies in it, has some metal architecture, which is basically just a big shiny fucking thing for people to look at and say, wow, that is so pretty and made of a rich people metal. I'm so glad I'm an elite that gets to flex like a motherfucker. We're gonna come up here. There, is a map looking thing that will eventually matter when all the game's features are implemented. That's the guy you need to thank for allowing me to borrow his ship to sit here and abuse the shit out of you. He's floating here having a pretty good time. Not because he's easy to satisfy, but because he's actually a, an okay kid. So you be nice to him or I'm gonna scalp the fuck out of you. That over there is where a bunch of snobby motherfuckers in suits like this one, would sit to have talks and wait to be called back to my duty station because stuff. There's some more pretty shit for fucking important motherfuckers. This here is where the hoes wait to get with the guy who owns that bed with room for all your pornographic positions and adult activities and a screen in which to play back the video of the fuck down that you gave your bitch. And then, here is a place where you can throw up when you get sober and realize that you don't even like the person you just let nut inside you. There's a place to wash the nasty fucking hand grease off you when you, you know, finish letting fingers in you. Here is where, when you're acting like a fucking officer, you sit over there and have a couple people sit over here, and this over here is a model of your flex that you're flying around in. And some books, in case you gotta read a regulation to somebody. Here's some liquor, because some people need a lot of extra help finding you attractive. Here is a place where the fancy people get to sit here and eat. And you'll notice there are four chairs here so that the other four women, while you're fucking bitch number five in the bedroom, can sit out here and talk to each other and 
laugh at how pitiful your dick is and how they're only fucking you because you have a nice ship. Here's a place for people pretending to be intellectuals to play board games. Down here, we have places for officers who aren't the commander, but you still have enough bed. Because if you score a permanent job on one of these, you deserve to fuck more than the captain does. Here, you get to throw up because you're so drunk so you have so that you can tolerate what society outside the ship is like, a place to wash the dirt off when you come back onto the ship before you go there and stick your body in another bitch's body. That's an elevator that's going to take us somewhere, but I was warned that one of these elevators is very bad. That's a bathroom for people who don't actually live on this ship. There's a few of them. This is a place to serve alcohol to people because some people come onto big flex ships like this to get intoxicated and look out the window and feel good about themselves. This is a place where instead of a stabbed uh, kidney over here, a sliced throat over here, and a skull slammed against this wall, and a hack pad right here, and a dead officer right here, and a murdered first officer over here. We don't have all of that horrible traumatic bullshit going on in the meeting room where uh, the guy who tells you he's not developing a weapon to target people by their genetics because he's already built it sits over here. Yes, that was a goddamn Call of Duty reference. Shut the fuck up. This over here is for people who are not the captain, because the captain has his own fuck place, to sit across from people and have those romantic facial expressions and sit there and struggle to find a respectful way to speak to women. Thankfully, I don't have this problem because I respectfully evade social interactions, and I wouldn't naturally be in a place like this. So, I'm going to move the fuck on. And a good bed to fuck on, but also really pretty aquarium stuff. Imagine if you didn't have all these gallons of water taking up the weight capacity of this amazing ship. You could totally fit more cargo in this motherfucker. Imagine. There's a swimming pool to swim around in that's normally filled with bodies. Instead, we have clean, fresh water. There's places to change in, or if you want to be Japanese hentai, um, that is where you slip your hands in people. That's a place to sit romantic in the water. That's a place where when someone's blowing this motherfucker up all the way, you would go there. But I'm going to just use this because that's what I'm used to doing. That down there is where a lot of shootouts happen. That is where a lot of people experience how fighting your way up and down stairs is a painful motherfucker. That over there is where you'd find a pile of North Rock bodies because, I, as I mentioned earlier, they are fucking worthless. Now, here... If this was an 890 jump mission, there would be like little open spaces right here. Instead, what you have is lots of gun spaces. Beautiful gun spaces for beautiful guns. There's an elevator. Also, one of the reasons why a Carrick and an 890 are kind of on the expensive end of things. Uh, the 890 is a, like almost a thousand real dollars if you pledge it, if it lets you, and it is a uh, quantity limited item, whereas the Carrick itself is $600. That is a respawnable bed. This thing and the Carrick both have that. They're tier two bids, I believe. That is a waiting lounge. This is the hangar. You can open that, send that elevator up, and pull that elevator down with that console, and do some of that with that console. And then, something that's really fucking cool. 
as we terrify me with, with fucking elevator stutter. You can enter a turret. With a pair of size 4 cannons. But I'm not going to activate this. Because we're in an armistice zone. And I'm not out here to be a shit starter. But if you only have one gunner and one pilot. Your access to firepower is fucking abysmal. The only thing that you would have that's actually worth having this ship for. If you've only got two people. Is the ability to put a really nice couple of ships in here and a respawn spot. But if somebody blows it up, you're back at your primary location. Open the fuck up. And there's the other turret. There's also other turret accesses from the co-pilot seats up at the bridge where we just were, where we told you about the nice young man who was very generous in letting us uh, borrow his ship so that I can abuse the fuck out of you. This is a place Sometimes uh, criminals would hide in here thinking I wouldn't check it, except I have a background in clearing places full of murderers and killers. So, like, yeah, I, I was taught to think that shit through. Uh, those are for people who want to float outside. I don't have the clothing for that. This is for people who are not executives and, and important people. They're just crew members, regular-ass, crew-ass crew members, where you just get a bunk, but if your captain doesn't have an anti-fraternization policy, you can totally get on top of each other in that room. In case you haven't noticed, my idea of the 890 is solely a flex. And when you flex right, you get to fuck. And if you get to fuck right, then you get to keep what you flexed on. This is a crew member shared bathroom. There's three of these. And seven of those so basically you have enough bathrooms that people can take turns and they're each individual bathrooms so remember when i was reviewing the 600 and i told you that it doesn't matter what fucking gender you put on the goddamn bathroom because if it's one toilet one washing spot and all that stuff that it's whatever the fuck you are when you walk in and lock the door yeah and i know it's july but the LGBT premium people are still valid, and I don't give a fuck if you agree with me or not, because I respect human rights, even people that you might disagree with. That's a TV, and this is a lounge for a bunch of uh, happy hoo-ha motherfuckers who don't even eat the fake fruit that's over here, or admire that little decorative on their table. Oh, and if you're a little worker boy, um, you get to sit here and eat your, your ration meal. And, check this out, check it the fuck out, <gasps> a kitchen, with an elevator to go up so you can serve motherfuckers uh, their food, as well as seasonings and more foods and plants. That is a pilot seat, that and that is a co-pilot slash turret seat. Y'all can access that shit from down here. So if somebody puts a fucking bullet in the pilot's brain up at the bridge, you can hop in this seat and save the fucking day. I'm getting close to it in third person and then I'll fucking use the stupid ass meter. What, bitch? Maybe it's the other side. No. A little bit higher. Almost there. Yep, you should be good. You would think, but it oh. is Star Citizen. I go a bit back. Warning, you are blocking an active flight bay. 
Please vacate the you're, not, you're not gonna make it if you're like that. Oh, I just auto, auto did the thing. Wait, why is it threatening oh. me to pound the ship? It's okay, we just gotta make a run for it. Wait, what the fuck? Vehicle being impounded. I'm gonna punch you in the fucking throat. Ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. You fucking stupid. Oh my fucking god. What the fucking fuck? Oh, 